life I've experienced, there are 10 things that are impossible. The first one is backing up a boat trailer. The other nine all involve my wife. See, the problem with the boat trailer is that you got two separate vehicles with a flexible ball hitch in between them. Plus, you're driving using your mirrors, you know, or actually turning your head around if you're under 25. <laughs> and the car is pushing rather than pulling. So when you turn one way, the boat goes the other. <laughs> it's actually very much like the problems I had when I was dating. I always got the opposite reaction from the one I expected, and I was trying to control the situation from the wrong end. <laughs> the solution, of course, is marriage. We got to marry the two vehicles into one. United we stand, divided we jackknife. <laughs> First thing you want to do is cut off the part of the car that you don't use anymore. Sadly, at my age, that's the back seat. I mounted a bunch of chisels to the edge of the garage door and a couple of heavy anchors, add a little jam to it. They're actually wood chisels, but there's lots of them. Anchors away. Okay, that's the hard part done, which was cutting the car in half with the garage door and then getting the mess all cleaned up before those people came home. So now we're ready to join the front half of the car to this boat trailer in holy matrimony. <laughs> what this man has brought together, let no boat ramp rent asunder, amen. Okay, I should have mentioned this earlier. Get a car that's front wheel drive. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd be attaching the boat trailer to the drive shaft. She'd get spinning around like a whirly gig on that thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No more jackknife, no more having the boat trailer on hitch at 50 clicks and take out a bus shelter. No embarrassment for me.